Lori Dungy, and I'm with TYP, Peter Swartz Youth Program here in Auckland. And uh, we thought we'd put together some TYP chats for you, have a work on at home with friends, Zoom in your bubble, so we can all hit the ground running when we finally are able to be in the same place. So the first thing I thought I'd talk about is blocking, number one. Blocking is when you say no or deny a fellow player's offer. Theater sports, improvisation only works and advances when you say yes to someone's offer. So I might say to you, let's go for a ride in the car. And you, you might say, no, uh, no. Nah. And what happens, of course, is that scene stops, just like the car, stops the story, stops the scene, and also probably stops your fellow player from wanting to give you another offer. Once you've been rejected, you'll probably take a little step back and go, well, oh, that didn't feel so great. No, they didn't like that offer. I'll have to come up with something better. And it's like, you don't know if an offer is a better offer a good offer, a bad offer, the right offer. It's improvised. Every offer can potentially be a good one. So that's why we say yes to everything. So if a player says to you, let's go for a car ride, you are going to respond with a very enthusiastic big yes. And in fact, while we're out, we'll get some ice cream. Yes! Oh, I am so dying for ice cream. I haven't had any for at least a good week and a half. Yes! And I think that when we get that ice cream, we should ensure we get enough to last us for at least a good month. Yes! Let's get the chili bin and put some ice blocks in it and some ice in it so the ice cream will be completely nice and hard still by the time we get home. Yes, you are the smartest person I have ever met. And then obviously off you go and get the ice cream. You put it in your chili bin, take it home and eat ice cream for days. So saying yes is what is going to make your story start and keep advancing. But if you say no, then everything stops and your story can't actually breathe life, can't sort of get a bit of oxygen and carry forward. So a really good exercise that physically helps you sort of get into the whole thing of saying yes is a, a physical thing where I might shout out, um, or I might just say, let's eat some Chinese food. And you would go, yes, and then immediately start miming that activity. <laughs> and then the next person would say, let's paint a picture. Everyone goes, yes, immediately start painting that picture with as much commitment and enthusiasm as you can muster. Uh, let's uh, run in the rain. Yes, let's. And they're running in the rain. And then someone else might say, let's talk on the phone to uh, the president. Yes, let's. Uh, look, you've got to do a better job, frankly. You've just got to make sure that everyone knows what's uh, going on. In fact, you should uh, have a look at what Jacinda is saying. She's right on the money. Then another offer. Let's fly to the moon. Yes, let's. Oh, and then off you go, getting into your rocket ship, doing your mind. Off you go. And keep it going until you're just exhausted and everyone falls down on the floor. So that's the yes, let's game. So if someone makes an offer, you all physically bring it to life and do some mind stuff around that until someone else comes in pretty quickly with another really fabulous physical offer. And when I say physical offer, things like watching TV, lying on the floor, sleeping in my bed, is not really all that physical. You want to give yourself something to work with, something to sink your teeth into. So make sure it's a good, meaty, physical offer that's going to lead your story in lots of different unexpected places. So have a go at that and uh, 
Have fun. See ya.